Here I have a data set with some celebrities and their contact information. The data is messy, so we will use Power Query and five techniques to clean it. At the end of the tutorial, you'll get a bonus one that in my opinion is the most useful and versatile one. So stay tuned. Let's create the query for this dataset, which you can of course download from the link in the description. Click on cell A1, press on Ctrl Shift, right arrow and down arrow to select the content of the old dataset. Now go to data ribbon and click on from table slash range. Our table has headers. And now let's proceed to cleaning the dataset. We will start with the full name column. You can see in here that the letters are messed up. We have capital letters and lowercase letters all around. And we also have some sneaky spaces in here that we will need to get rid of. So let's first start with the capitalization. Right click, transform and capitalize each word. The words are properly written. And the second step will be to trim those sneaky spaces. We could use the trim feature in transform and trim, but trim won't get rid of these sneaky spaces between the words. In this case, we will need to replace the space with nothing. So this way we will get rid of all the spaces within the column, but that's not a problem because now we will split the column into a first name column and the last name column. So right click, split column and split by lowercase to uppercase. So now we have a first name column and a last name column. The next column to clean will be the address one. So here I would suggest that we first handle this dollar symbol within the country name. So let's right click on the um, column, replace values, and we will replace the dollar symbol with an capital S. And it seems that we have also some underscore for the wizard the country. So let's replace the underscore with nothing. So click again, okay. And now what we are going to do is to split the address column into address, city and country. Here we can right click, split column and split by delimiter. Our delimiter is the comma. And now we will split by each occurrence. So comma occurs two times after the address and after the city. So we will click OK. Now we have three columns. The first one is address. The second one is city. And the third one is country. Now the bonus technique. It seems that we don't have the complete email addresses in this column, but we have one row with a complete email address, which is the Mela Penderson aronjahoo.com so we can assume that all the other email addresses are the same format first name plus full stop plus last name and then the email domain so what we can do in this situation we could go to add column ribbon and click on custom column and we could say if email address equals to amela.pandersonaroundjahoo.com then get the content from email else first name and full stop and last name and email so this way we will concatenate first name and then with a full stop and with a last name and with the email. Now click OK. So as you can see, we concatenated our three columns and a full stop where we didn't have the Amela Panderson address. Now we could transform and get the, all the characters in lowercase. Now we can delete this column and rename this one 
to email, reorder it, and now we can go to home tab and close and load our data because now it's clean. What was your favorite technique? Mine was for sure the custom column one. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like cleaning data in Power Query, check out my other tutorial with some advanced techniques for cleaning messy data. My name is Christian, and it's a pleasure to be with you in your learning journey. See you.